Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Or in Greek, Yesus Kalusori Sate. In my previous video, I've shown you around the city of Rethinon and as well the outskirts and the hills of it. We took a small double decker bus on a one and a half hour tour um, uh, inside the city of Rethinon, which brought us as well into the mountains. If you haven't already seen my last video of the tour of the city of Rethinon, you can just go to my channel, click on the button videos, and there you will find all my footage I have published so far. There you can as well find the flight with the Edelweiss airline from Zurich to Iraklio. With all the crazy things going on in the world right now, I'm not traveling at all, so those videos, they kind of remind me of a time when everything else was a bit better and traveling was still normal. I've started this YouTube channel called the Bavarian Globetrotter in 2020 and well I decided to share all my travel experiences with you. My name is Michael and I hope you like this video. If you do so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more footage and share it with your social media if you want to. Maybe your friends would like it too. Today I'm going to explore another city here on the Iron of Crete. I'm taking a bus over to Chania. Chania is actually the second largest city on the Iron of Crete after Iraklio. And once again I want to show you how easy it is to get around here on the island of Crete. There are a lot of bus services that are connecting all the major cities and the airport which pretty much every other city on the island. And it's even not expensive at all. Um, for this one hour bus ride from Rethinon to Chania I only paid 7 euros. The line from Rethinon to Chania follows along the only highway on the island and this one was built at the shoreline on the northern part of the island. In between you will have as well some mountain views but most of the time when you sit on the right side of the bus you look out the window and you will see just the beautiful ocean. But uh, please be aware that the roads on Crete are not that smooth so if you have problems getting sick on a bus make sure you sit in the front. After all those information just enjoy the beautiful view outside the window here on the right from Rethinon to Chania. Hello guys, and a very warm welcome from Hania, which is the second largest city in all of Crete. I just arrived here by public transportation. I took a bus from Rethan all the way to Kania. And right now I'm going into the city to explore it a little bit more and to see what the city has to offer for us. Right now I'm on the way to the Church of the Holy Maria. So guys, how do you think Crete is so far? Um, I've seen Rethinon right for a week now and I'm pretty excited about it because it's a pretty cool place to be to be honest. Okay, there is a lot of tourism going on there, that's for sure, but yeah. Where isn't it, you know? And I think that Kanye uh, is quite different. It's a more lively city, there is not as much tourism around as in the Rethinon. So guys, as you can see, there's a lot more traffic going on here. So, you're right now moving into a wider part of the city. It's just like the pedestrian center, where you have shops after shops after shops. And, well, I'm still on the way to the Church of the Holy Maria. 
so let's see how I can find normally it's just like easy to walk so it's better cities because you have just walk out from the church tower and then you can can make your wander your way through but we'll see how it is here this part of the city is just like I'm feeling much more calmer I mean, I like it much more the other time, the other part was pretty crowded and uh, a lot of traffic going on right now. I'm feeling a bit free. As you can see, you have a lot of shops here that offer clothing, souvenirs, and there's also some jewelry. So, pretty nice place to be, to be honest. And right now, I turn on to a much more quiet road. On my way to the Church of the Holy Maria. And as you can see, some is going to be set here pretty soon. So, after we found the church, I have explored a little bit with a way going to find something to take. Um, as you can look behind me right now, after I cross the street, I may have found it. So guys, I'm continuing my stroll around the city right now, after a fan the Church of the Holy Maria, and I'll chat with you later, have a good day. So everyone, I hope you have enjoyed the little tour of the city of Hania here and um, yeah, I really want to point out that I like the architecture of this town a lot but in my opinion it's a bit too touristy in comparison with, with you know if you come here at sunset time, don't miss out to go at the end of the harbour to the lighthouse you have a beautiful view of the setting sun and it's a really romantic place as well this spot at the end, the harbour wall, is pretty much the best place at sunset. You can bring some Greek food, have a glass of wine and just enjoy sitting there and watching the sunset over the ocean. We are once again at the end of a video and as always um, I want to say thank you for watching. If you do like the videos I make, just give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me more than you think it would. And if you want to share it on social media with your friends or family, go ahead, maybe they like it too. My name is Michael, my channel is The Bavarian Globetrotter here on YouTube. And I don't know what I'm doing next, but one thing I know for sure, I want you guys with me. So right now, cheers and goodbye.